Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on seizures. Seizures and epilepsy. This is a new series of CNS central nervous system which I am going to start today. And I will deal with each and every topic. Um, and I will try to complete the whole CNS within some 10 to 15 days. Okay. So first seizures. What is a seizure? Now we are learning about seizures and epilepsy. Okay. Uh, so first what is a seizure? Seizure is defined as a paroxysmal event. So there are some words which are important in seizures. One paroxysmal so it occurs suddenly and it has excessive abnormal and excessive synchronous movements synchronous uh, activity synchronous neuronal activity so synchronous is uh, a group of muscles work together so for contraction or for this movement of hand all these group of hands have to work together so that is synchronous activity so seizures are defined as paroxysmal event due to abnormal uh, excessive synchronous neuronal activity so that is seizure so uh, there is some neuronal activity which can be in one part or the whole just one part or it can also be in the whole body but it if it includes some paroxysmal event and that should have a synchronous neuronal activity synchronous movements of all the muscles so that is called as seizures then what is epilepsy epilepsy is recurrent seizures if i have to say Epilepsy is nothing but recurrent attacks of seizures are called as epilepsy. But for example, if a person has one or two or think that he has three seizures, but all the three seizures, he, he has a history of diabetes and he has three seizure attacks prior and now he has the fourth seizure. But all the four seizures are just due to hypoglycemia. It was diagnosed that all the prior seizures, the prior three seizures that, that, she, that he had are due to uh, hypoglycemia and the present seizure is also due to hypoglycemia in that case it is not an epilepsy here there should be recurrent seizure and there should be a chronic underlying process there should be some underlying process which just going on only then it is called epilepsy but if the if if the cause of the seizure is due to some correctable event like correctable circumstances. If the cause is due to correctable circumstances, then it is not epilepsy. Okay, so this is the major difference between seizures and epilepsy. So we generally use the term seizures for one attack and if the cause of it is not known, uh, if there are many attacks of seizures and there is some chronic problem underlying it, that is called as epilepsy. So, before going into the causes of epilepsy, let us learn about the classification of epilepsy. So, classification of seizures, not epilepsy, but we say seizures. Okay, classification of seizures. So, first it is classified as focal seizures. Second classification, second uh, has generalized. And then unclear it can be focal it can be generalized we clearly don't know whether it is focal or generalized focal it involves only one part of the body it can be a hand or it can be a leg or it can be hemi body but it's not the entire body whereas generalized it includes the whole body starting from the he uh, head facial muscles to the whole body there will be generalized tonic clonic movements of all the limbs can be there or there can be absent there are many types of generalized in fact we will go into details of them uh, in a few minutes so why is there a focal seizure so think that this is the brain okay just it is just a representation of the brain just uh, it's not anatomically it won't be like this because there will be guide eyes alkai and there will be central fissure all those I'm not going to read the raw so in focal seizure the electrical activity begins at a particular focus so only here the electrical activity starts 
okay and this and the um, this area to which uh, if uh, the the part to which this area belongs that undergoes the movement okay uh, in generalized it can uh, start from a particular part or it can occur globally the whole brain matter is involved so this is diffuse electrical activity so the whole part of the brain has some electrical activity going on resulting in generalized seizures sometimes if you see even the focal seizures whenever the electrical activity is there let me draw a diagram again same diagram so whenever the in focal seizures think that this is the brain and the electrical activity has started somewhere here okay now uh, once the electrical activity has started here the patient has seizures at one point think that he had seizures in some arm okay and now the electrical act because of this electrical activity there may be cerebral edema or this electrical activity may uh, go and it may uh, spread to the whole brain and when it spreads to the whole brain then at that point the patient will have a generalized seizures so here the focal seizures which are there these focal seizures are being converted into the generalized seizures so this is one more type okay one more variation in fact so these these are the classifications so first let us learn about the focal seizure but we will learn about the focal seizure in our next class so thank you guys for watching my lecture please watch the next lecture for the focal seizures thank you